couldn't have been confused with this working. <laughs> is let him watch. Let him no, watch. no, no, no. <laughs> to firemen kicking down my door. Whoa. Because and the, that morning, after there was a geyser of water in my house and cricket revolution. Oh. And the intro? Uh, yeah, let's, let's come you, in. Then you want to start? All okay. right. You want to start? Uh, welcome back to the best podcast in the world. Boom, boom, boom. In, in, on this block. On this, definitely Recorded on this block. block. Guinness, on this Guinness block. World Record. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nobody could really argue that unless there's another podcast that we don't know about that's recorded on this block. Yeah, I know. There might be something going on in someone's basement we don't know about. Yeah, we I mean, do it, it in there. If you when you whittle it down, you can you know you can be the best in anything. You know? Huh. You mean as you in like have, if I'm the only one doing you, it? You at just this have moment? to have narrow definitions for what is the best. Yeah, you like, know? I'm the only one that could juggle three balls on a Tuesday at 5 p.m. Exactly. The best. Well, yeah. and even then you're like third because two Asian guys are way ahead. Yeah, of like you. some freaks doing it. True. Like some week wakes some freak wakes up at 5 a.m. like purposely to do it. True. 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 Um, as as you know, uh, two episodes ago, we did our our picky voice Tinder game. That's true. A uh, big success. Everybody everybody liked it except for Chaz. <laughs> uh, Chaz Chaz thought that we 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 gave him the short end of the stick with the picture that we chose for him. Um, so as as uh, compensation for that. Um, Compensation. Here's, this this is a new picture we made of Chess. Wow, I'd, Look at that. I'd swipe she's right a, on that. She's, Super like she's an absolute smoke show. Frankly, d- this is like we're we're reacting to it, but Danny could then just send me a picture of like, the <laughs> ugliest thing to put up, <laughs> yeah. and we're doing it anyway. Yeah, no, I was I, gonna bring that up last. Dude, Chaz got killed at the polls. Dude, Chaz, week. I don't even know if we yeah. can release those numbers because Chaz was killed at the landslide. Killed at the polls. Landslide. True. The first picture I made of him was was too risque for YouTube. Oh, oh, demonetization! Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't want to be demonetized. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Cause she she had the she had the jugger knots. She had the uh, <laughs> she had she had the, the cleavage. She had the big old tits. That's there the it is. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and uh, but but yeah. So this is this is this is your and now, redemption. Now you could stop coming over and be so cranky all the time. Yeah, we... he was legitimately upset. He was talking <laughs> about it for many days outside of the podcast <laughs> realm. So many hours of him complaining. You, 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 you just say a random thing to him, and then he'd be like, well, maybe if you, you know, maybe chose a better picture. Yeah, maybe if you made me pretty, <laughs> I wouldn't be so upset right now. It's this like, well, funny. make yourself prettier. I don't know. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> and then every good thing you just said now, there it is. He's, that's what he's going to harp on now. I, I can't even blame him, though. There were some hot ladies there. There were some hot ladies. Were, on and he was not ladies. one of them. And no, he he was, was well, I mean, he was, a, he was a pretty lady, but a lot of them were hot ladies, you know? Yeah. JT, you just did a hibachi, right? I At home? did. I did. You got it. So I would highly recommend this to everyone I know. Uh, my family on Sunday did a hibachi thing, and it's called Hibachi to You. And they bring the grill, and you just have to set up some tables. And a hibachi chef brings his grill and everything, and all the food. You pick your chicken, your steak, your shrimp, your scallops, <laughs> and they makes the food in front of you. Does the whole hibachi show in your backyard? I didn't know that was even that existed. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it was great. I would highly recommend it. Anyway, the thing that happened is um, when he gets there, it's very nice. We help him set up. He's a very, very nice, like uh, the best chef. Very, very nice. <laughs> right, right, and, the best chef. And when, when he starts, he's talking to us and he says, by the way, guys, I'm Dave. You could call me Dave. I'm also, my chef name is Chef Dumpling. So you could call me Dumpling or Dave. <laughs> and I went, listen, man, if you think that there's any universe where in 2021, I'm going to go, Hey, yo, dumpling, uh, let, me, let me get some more soy sauce to an Asian fellow. You're crazy. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, he's yes. kind of setting you guys up there. Yeah. Yeah, on the sh- on the street, that might go that, that no. might go down a little if different. If there's a video of me saying it out of context. Hey, hey, hey dumpling. Sounds very derogatory. I, yeah. Oh, obviously. <laughs> Dude, and all the, I, I was on the website, and all the chef's names were just like, it sounded like bad, lazy Asian slurs. There's like... <laughs> Chef soy sauce, <laughs> chef, <laughs> chef pork fried rice, <laughs> chef dumpling. I'm like, no, you guys. <laughs> we, we need a new system. Guys, here. come on. They had the boy that pees on the, the thing. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, they, you ever they, see that? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, boy, you're talking about? Did they do the whole thing? Like the, you they know, bring the, out the volcano? Bo- they bring out a stuff? boy. That's a, cla- that's a crowd favorite. Right. They and then, the like, they have the little boy that pees on it. Yeah, they bring out a boy. They and bring he out pees a child. The, they pees they, on the, the grill. Yeah, they shove him with water. They put him on a step stool. You have no idea what I don't know what kind of hibachi place you guys <laughs> don't know. That might have <laughs> been the they massage the parlor. The heart hmm. makes a rice a rice heart, and, he and then he yeah yeah, yeah. then he puts his thing beep, under it. Goes beep, beep. 
And it was also, this was like a whole Mother's Day thing, sort of late. Yeah. So he's like, happy Mother's Day. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. <laughs> cool. They like throw the throw a shrimp and you have that catch it. It's usually rice, I think, but like. <laughs> I nailed that one. Catch oh, a little ri rice ball. A little rice ball, I think. I thought it was a I, shrimp. I haven't been in a while. The, the place by us closed down. It's really sad. <sighs> what a tragedy. Yeah, but either way. Truly. Do you have I'm, a video of you catching rice in your mouth? Yes, I do. Toss it good. You got to catch it. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I almost burned down a Chinese restaurant once. That's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, I I got a I got I love this the I love world? food that comes with a spectacle, and so so I so <laughs> okay, I bought okay. so I got a uh, like a poo poo platter, right? And in the middle of a poo poo platter, there's like a flame usually. Um and wait, what's I, a, a poo poo platter? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a they bring out it's an, like an they Asian bring out dish. The chef and it's, he it's, shits it's, on the plate. It's kind of like an Asian <laughs> sampler platter. Like it has a bunch of different things. All right. Either way, but there was a fire in the middle of the thing, um, and I was like make, making jokes, playing around, and I was like hitting the fire with with a napkin, like whoosh, and what? and it it, it 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 went ablaze, and just absolutely, I, I was freaking out, and I was like kind of young, so I was just like ah, and I dropped it, and then you know they had to get the water out, and the, the whole the whole platter was ruined. It's like there was. <laughs> Cause some, cause, cause, cause they, they just took a jug of water and threw it onto the table. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, I think they're gonna sacrifice your poo poo platter instead of their whole establishment. You know, I suppose so. That's the thing that they didn't account for, I think, with the uh, the outdoor thing, because it's in your backyard and everything. And this was at my parents' uh, like beach house thing. Um, it was just flammable. It was very windy, and he does the volcano, the classic crowd favorite, of onion volcano. Fills it with like a ton of. What is that sake? Well, some kind of oil? No, I think it's like grease or like oil. oil. Yeah. I don't think it's just And does I, it? I don't know. Huge <laughs> flame and it he's downwind. Literally, oh. I'm surprised his eyebrows were still there. Dude, because it was in his face, man. Dude, even in hibachi restaurants with no wind, with yeah. a, a vacuum, it Ooh. gets close to your face. Like enough where you're like, oh, oh no. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but usually they have the thing to help the smoke, you know. Yeah, they have like the the loud. Yeah. What is that called? The hood? Yeah, it's, it's something, something like that. The hood. The hood. Oh. What about drinking in a pool? I, I never, I never understood. First of all, be careful. You get super drunk drinking in a pool. I think I don't know the science behind it, but I think is it something with the water not like floating in your body? Like Whoa. when you're in a pool, do your organs float? Like how does that work? The scientists still don't know to this day, right? Because it's water and water. I don't, I don't know. There has to be something weird. Like if we can float, something's going off in our equilibrium. I think. Hmm. I, I'm clearly asking the right people. <laughs> like, that's what I, I'm just inquisitive Why about. Why don't you go it. ask a nerd? <laughs> yeah, like a scientist or something. Aquaphysics. So, what, what, what does this have to do with it? Maybe you're getting drunker maybe, faster. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe something with it. I don't Listen, know. He's trying his best. I'm trying my best to explain I, I, what I'm I, trying I, to say that I know nothing about. Yeah, I wonder what like drinking a beer in space would be like. Oh, See, that's what I'm saying. Like, like gravity beer. Yeah, like drinking in space. Do the muscles do enough for it to go down? You know what I'm saying? I know, I know what you're saying. That's what sure. I'm trying to yeah. say. That's a better Definitely. example. I don't know, man. Because they drink water. I know. And it doesn't just like stay in their in their body. I, I don't know. Maybe it does. <laughs> While they're talking, like water just coming back up. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, this is something that's stuck in my throat here. Oh, mm. I would love to have a drink in space, dude. Oh. Yeah, eventually, oh you know, God. eventually we'll we'll maybe you, do it. It it might still to this day have never been done. Oh, the Russians. Well, like a shot of alcohol in space, you're saying? Yeah, because, yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, they have. I think to the astronauts shit. let them. Probably NASA not. lets them bring up alcohol. Probably not. Probably so not. We, we could well, do dude, it first if we uh, wanted. Imagine, to. yeah, but we bring like the people who have been have gone up so far aren't really tourists in, in majority. They're like they need the ship to work. Yeah. yeah. So if like then a, a so group they're not of gonna tie one yeah, on yeah, up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a group of people are drunk and then like uh, they poke a hole in the cabin. That's yeah. a different problem. Yeah, that's that's. That would be bad, and, and <laughs> yeah, driving a spaceship be... while drunk is definitely a crime Dr of some <laughs> sort. Uh, intergalactic uh, intergalactic DUI. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you know who's going to space? Um, <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> For a movie, he's going to shoot Mission Impossible Nine or whatever. I respect it. I respect. And he's too. literally going to space in like a few months. Well, so, we should send him off. Challenger Point Two. We will lose American hero. Oh yeah, that would be really tragic. If Tom Cruise bit the dust on a spaceship. That was really the, the tragic part about the Challenger explosion was because it was like a teacher. Like they, they yeah. had, what, what, a, what a horrible idea. Let's have a contest and send a pedestrian into space. Right. Boom. Right. All the kids are watching. Uh, what do you think? You think it was like an ego thing or you think they thought 
They're like, there's no way this thing's gonna. There's no way anything's gonna go wrong. Yeah, and there's like, the, why are they sending a civilian? I don't know. And then when when it did happen, and everyone just turned and looked at that guy, it's like, look what you did. You know, jinxed it. I think her. She was a teacher. I think her class was watching. Yeah. Oh, jeez. But nobody really knew what happened at first. You can infer. I think you could. Uh... When you see a fiery fireball, I think you can understand what's happening. <laughs> hey, uh, have, you ever guys, watched, have you ever watched a video? It's an, it's it's not like that. There it, it was no fireball. Hey, uh, have you ever watched a video? Is it a fireball? Is it, is it supposed to do that? It's it, not, just, it's, it just, it just, it's just on stage it, two. It looks like a piece of it went in a different direction. Dude, I really? saw, I saw, dude. I thought there's a giant explosion yeah, like I'm halfway. Pr- I'm no, pretty sure no, that no. thing went there was boom. Not, boom. Yeah, there was no fireball. It was like a, it's, it's just, it's just like a smoke cloud. Nah. It definitely, it's an explosion, it definitely dude. didn't. It definitely couldn't have been confused with this working. <laughs> is what I'm saying. No, Daddy, I'm telling you, you're remembering this. No, wrong. but there's, but there's, there's videos of people on the ground who are like, oh, I wonder, we wonder what happened. <laughs> like, like no one, like no one knew what I happened. Think maybe they didn't have the zoomed in uh, TV and, level yeah. camera. And I, I'm telling you, I've seen the video, man. It's definitely an explosion. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure. Look, like if I was there, I might have been like, oh, that doesn't look right. But I'm no scientist. But on the video screen, I like, don't know about that. On the and the action replay, it. it doesn't look too great. I don't know about. It. Supposedly, they were all alive when they hit the water. That was a terrible fact. I now know. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, Elon Musk, guys, I've seen a couple of him. He's the, he's been blowing up rockets left and right. He he likes to. You gotta yeah. blow, like you gotta blow up a couple rockets to get one to Mars. Crack a few True. eggs to make an omelet. Exactly. True. Yeah. What are you doing? Fifteen right now. Excuse me. It's like the number of ships he's blown up. Really? Oh. Yeah, this is the fifteenth version that just landed. Like what that. do you think? Once it with with no. But they learn something new like each time. Yeah. I think. I hope so. Then <laughs> or, or they're just all right, like, back to square one. It's like yeah. Or they're not. They they like they can't figure out the exact decimal point of one of the calculations, so they just send up ten and whatever. Try one point goes. one. Yeah. Try, try point, point two. two. <laughs> it's like oh god. All right. You know what's next? <laughs> point three. Oh, we got it. We got it, boy. Oh no, we didn't. Oh, no, try point it. four. <laughs> Yeah, then there was the there was the one that landed and everybody cheered and then it blew. <laughs> <laughs> that was point three five. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah, getting it was, close. It was so close. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what a what a what a blue balls tease that is. Yeah, really. It's like yeah, we did it, and there it goes. Yeah, this man's just you know space racing himself. Dude, so what about the flat earthers when you could like participant civilian go up and see this round sphere you think it's they're a, not going on dude i'll show. tell you what they'll go on it but there could be an argument dude if you go on some of the rides in disney they look exactly like space like from what i think space mm. would look like and then i feel like the flat <laughs> earthers would be like oh no we just uh went around the sky for a little bit and they sent us projection screens if you are so like you know <laughs> oh, in the go. mind state that you believe that the earth is flat here we go nothing nothing is going to save you like from no, that. i just i disagree no, there's, there's plenty who come back from it who are like uh, i don't know about that. A, they just, uh, once you're a flat earther you're permanently a flat earther the rest of your life well you're permanently an idiot that's for sure <laughs> or you were at some <laughs> point at least i'm telling you i mean kids are idiots until they go to school you know to learn how to spell and speak there's plenty of people who get into conspiracies see conspiracies that are true left and right and then get too into it and believe mm-hmm. every conspiracy they hear and get a little over in their head and in over their head and then they uh Come back to reality. Dude. Yeah. I would love to have a flat earth on this podcast. You wouldn't. I don't think you would. You would just get frustrated. You're like a frustrated You get frustrated man. and be, it wouldn't, it would be far less interesting. It wouldn't be interesting at all, actually. Yeah, it, would it would just, just be you talking to an idiot. It would just be us going like, mm. oh, jeez. Yeah, but what about this? You know? <laughs> what if it's a famous flat earther, like B.O.B.? Oh, okay. Okay, that'd be cool. I mean, yeah. I think that'd be cool. He also made a fire song about the earth being flat. He did. Flat line. Flat line. I, I, I don't know if it's recall. fire, but it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's good for being about a flat earth. It's definitely a song. Yeah, D- dude, you know what? Um, I, I don't know because Star Wars, uh, Disney just released this hotel that you you have you could stay there for a day, but you can't leave for the Excuse day. Me. Let me explain. So you you it's all interactive. It's hotel California. It's all interactive, like as in you're in a spaceship mm. and you're in space. It's also in the center of the park, and that's why I think you can't leave. They can't just have people walking out in their flops here and there. So you, you each get a role, it's interactive, and you have like a position on the ship, and you can't leave the hotel for a whole day. Because like if you leave, oh, you're in outer space, you can't just open the cabin. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, what if, like, that's a little, a little weird, isn't it? Like, a couple screws loose. Like, what if they take it too seriously? Mm-hmm. Like, the South Park thing? It's like, leave. like, come on, Admiral, you gotta get back <laughs> to your station. It's like, my kid wants a snack, please. Or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'd try. I, I'm definitely gonna try it, but it feels weird to me. You're a Disney adult. I'm a Disney adult. You're a Disney girl. That's that's interesting. 
yeah. at first I, I I didn't even realize till like you know just now. Just till just you're now. The, you're a Disney adult. I'm a Disney adult, but yeah, like yeah. I mean, you're not one of the you know crazy ones. I don't think. I don't. I don't think so. Do you? Do you? I enjoy uh, the 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 occasional Mickey. Do you park? Uh, what what is it called? Something park bending hop? or it's like it's like you essentially wear wear clothes that look like characters. You know. I I wear Mickey on my shirt. That's, so you would you just it. wear Mickey? That's, that's huh? it. I I don't like. Would you ever live? Do you know about Golden Oaks? No. Golden Oaks. Uh, I just, I just watched a YouTube video on this. Great Curtis Connor video. It's a Golden Oaks is uh, is is a, a place in in the Disney parks where you can buy a home and live. In the parks. In the park. That's weird, man. It's I don't know. So weird. Because like. I could understand. I, I want to meet like an employee first, not in the park when they're acting like a psychopath. Okay. Because I don't remember. know. I don't know if they're always psychopaths. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's something off. It, it would feel too culty to me. Like everyone would wave. It's supposed to be a happy place. Mickey has a gun to your it head. Feels, I don't know. It feels so culty already. I mean, that's like, what I'm saying. There, there, there are people who go like every day. It's fucking weird. I don't mean about the people that go. I, I'm talking about more the people that are there every day. Are there working. really people go every day? Yeah. They live in they live, people it's move expensive right. Well, you just get a season pass. You get season pass, then there's right. like resident discount. There's probably like something. But, but what could you possibly? What do you do if you go every I, day? And they, I don't know. And they don't. Have, I, I don't. And know. a lot of them don't have kids. So week is too they're long. They're just going as adults. Or maybe they're going. To, whoa, whoa! Accusation! Accusation! Hot take! Hot take! But if I was if I was on the on the on the pedo scale i would probably no, I go mean, to disney no i mean i i i get it you know it's maybe you know there's a billy i guess they're not hurting anybody so you know let them let them go to the let them watch let them no, watch no 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 <laughs> no touching yeah. just watch no. <laughs> you let them watch no i'm saying that you know i think it's weird because it's like i don't know it just seems it seems like an adult it seems like you're doing a, a kid thing without kids right. like, i think that's weird but you know whatever also once a year to this incredibly fake place like just too happy not real world once a year to get rid of to get out of here i don't know yeah i think it's a lot of escapism oh, oh, oh i'm escaping Antonio needs need some escape i need some escape true, true. i need some ism in my life well no you know give us your report i will see I'll if try. you see any um odd characters yeah some like, the mustache a little too people, thin yeah you ever been uh driving and there was a police car directly behind you mm -hmm. how do you guys act are you are you so nervous? Are you more of a danger to everybody around you with the cop behind you? Yeah, because I feel like I am too. It's like yeah. you're always looking back. Like if there's a grandma in front of me, that grandma is GTA now, and now I'm getting pulled over for manslaughter of this grandma. Yeah, mm. a cop also did the old like flick on the siren right behind me just to go around and like uh, go somewhere. And I was like, you know, you these people just gave me a literal heart attack on this road. I don't know. No, I'm so, I'm so intimidated by police. If if the, if if they're anywhere in the, the vicinity, I I freak the fuck out. Yeah, I'm down to abolish the police just to avoid that situation. Yeah, <laughs> uh, where they, like, they I don't they, care about the other stuff. I'm just yeah, like let me drive. Yeah, yeah. The the problem is I don't feel very safe, which is what I'm supposed to feel like with the police around. Yeah, you feel more paranoid and yeah, and it definitely causes traffic because when, when even yeah. if the, even if there's just a, like they're just parked on the side of the road, That's everybody what, yeah. everybody stops and then you know. Traffic. I mean, tra traffic gets created by nothing. By nothing. By nothing. It's, it's, literally nothing. There's a little I, fender I bender on the other side, and everyone slows and down to look at it. And if you ever like look up a YouTube video of how traffic like starts, I love those videos. It's so annoying it's that so one annoying. one asshole <laughs> can make you late to any function that you've ever gone. To. Now the whole highway is doing the wave. Yeah, but it's with traffic. It's literally one person can one person could do it. I think they did on a Mythbusters. They yep. have like a circular road and you can see how and one person stopped and it ran around like 20 times. It's like yeah, equal cuz you can't By yeah. the way, what a great show. What a great show. Oh, love, Mythbusters? Love Mythbusters. Dude, apparently they hated each other. RIP Grant. They hated each Oh, Grant yeah. Mahara. He's dead. How would he die? Mm, probably I think aneurysm. Drugs? No, no oh, aneurysm. It's sword. They said by the sword. Like a sword. Oh, oh! I was like, what? The I, what? I feel like he did a lot of things with swords. Maybe right? sharp objects, but no, an aneurysm, like aneurysm is pretty uh, sharp and quick. It's actually totally out of nowhere. But. Yeah. Well, that's usually how that stinks. Yeah, but apparently yeah. they they like every day on set was just terrible, terrible for them. They did like twelve Dude, years. And fucking wait, Grant died. Dude, and I think Carrie died. Really? What? What, what like? Dude, I think Carrie died <laughs> trying to break the land speed record. I don't know. About this. You think Jamie and what's the other guy's name? Jamie and Adam. You Adam, think you yeah. think they're like God crazy and they're killing their previous cast members? <laughs> <laughs> like really weird myth bust. It's literally like Saw. Like they're like, can you get out of this? I mean, scary. I'm gonna be on Adam's side. 
because Which one's Adam? Jamie seems like a kind of a douche. Is Jamie the walrus one? Yeah. <laughs> the walrus one. <laughs> well, like, like that yeah, mustache was killer. He's the one dude. who wore it like a fucking beret. Yeah, no, had a, I made that up. Oh, the, what's the blonde girl on Mythbusters name? If you think I know any of this, uh, just just type in. She was myth, like the carrier placement just, while Carrie was. Just pregnant. type in Mythbusters cast that bit the the dust. Hmm. They're it's myth busting in the sky. Jesse Combs. She died. Mythbusters host. She died trying to be, beat the land speed record. Did she beat mm-hmm. it? Grant. Corpse might have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that is so dark. That is so. Dark. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right oh. okay. Myth busted. Myth. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm upset that how mu- that got me. No, but I need that show to come back for sure. They should. Yeah, but they. they well, broke, I guess they're dead they, now. Yeah, well, well they, they keep dying off. The, the old record that she was trying to beat was hers anyway. Oh, so she's she, trying she to top got it. So wow, we are she has it. Need for Speed, uh, for sure, dude. All of them go out that way. Need for Speed, freaking uh, just adrenaline junkies, you know. What's a, what was his name? Paul Bunyan? No, not Paul Bunyan. What? what <laughs> Paul, Paul Bunyan. The, the Fast and Furious guy. He bit Didn't the dust. Paul, going Paul Walker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Paul, Paul Walker. Walker yeah. He, you know, died living like the movies. He was so invested in the movies that he's like, you know what? Yeah. I am this character who could survive these crazy things. But wasn't there? It's so it's so taboo to talk about these things because you don't want to like speak ill on them and like he was actually a really good person. But wasn't there like alcohol involved and stuff? With I that one? I don't know. I don't know. I thought the car was such so crushed like a garbage compactor that they couldn't. Can they even tell there was alcohol in there? I don't even know. Hmm. Well, I don't want to slander his name. That might not be true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I have no idea on that. I I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I might be thinking of Ryan Dunn. We're getting. It was definitely. It was definitely. Yeah, it was yeah. definitely Ryan Dunn. True. We could we could back it up. I guess. <laughs> Are you guys like heavy sleepers at all? Yes, very much so. I'm, dude, I can wake up. You're not. I'm not. I, you're not. I, I like, I wake up ready too, dude. Yeah, I'll drop a paper clip yeah, by like, accident. It's like, what's going on? Like, keep it down up there. I've woken up from like a girl trying, like girls trying to like go to the bathroom and it's like they wake up and I literally like, what's going you know, don't kill me. Yeah, because they, be, they took the wrong number of steps. Yeah, exactly. There could be a reenactment of Woodstock in the living room and I would not wake up. Yeah, Danny could uh, sleep through <laughs> yeah. like a war. So it's just an orgy in your... I, well, it's like yeah. a, it's a like musical loud, orgy. An orgy with music playing. I'm <laughs> sorry. Yes. Yes. It's a difference. It's a difference. There is a difference. You're right. But uh, no, I, I, I just remembered that I, um, when I was in high school, I was, I would say, a much heavier sleeper than I am now, and I'm still a very heavy sleeper now. And one time I woke up to firemen kicking down my door. Whoa. Because the smoke alarm was going off, and I just was sleeping through it. And then the neighbors heard it. The neighbors heard the smoke alarm. The neighbors called the police, said, I think there might be a fire in there. I don't know. I was just sound asleep. I was, yeah, you woke I was, up like. I was in you know, deep REM sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, the fireman like kicked down the door, and that woke me up. Oh, I I would hope at least that did. JT wakes up like, oh, someone's oh. cooking something. Mm. <laughs> right, and, like he's there wasn't a fire. He's inhaling smoke. It wasn't a fire. It was just the carbon monoxide, whatever. Oh yeah, that's the that's, <laughs> that's the baby but, one. Well, you got good neighbors. Yeah, good yeah definitely. Oh, we have great neighbors. But uh, and then oh, and then my parents accused me of being on drugs after, which I was. But that's not what caused it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, I'd be, I think, if I would call, if I think there was a fire next door, I think I would do that. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it was because I'm worried about my neighbors or worried that my house might be next for the fire fire train. Mm. But either way, you know, ends just Next for the fire train. That is how fires work. Yeah, yeah they, they do. Mm. They'll jump from house to house like hopscotch. There's yeah. a saying about that, right, or something? It's like Well, back in the day, right, didn't they have a billion fire departments because one fire in one of these apartments will take out a block? Like back I, what, in the day? I thought I thought back in the day like everyone was a firefighter because everyone I think, had a bucket. I think because at all of times. that, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like like cartoon, like everyone hands a bucket and like just toss the water on it. Oh, you did. It's Thirty Fourth Street. And yeah, people just like run with buckets. Running at with it. buckets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the strategy back then was to just like n- let it burn down the structure. Controlled burn. Yeah. Controlled burn. Yeah. Because they couldn't really stop it. I don't think. And everything was made, dude. It, it's so weird how people back in the day. I guess it's not weird because what they had, but everything was made of like tinder. Everything, like <laughs> everything, was made just to get something there. You know, yeah. just to put something there. Didn't care about yeah. what's in the walls. Who's sniffing this fire? It's just I need a house. Put it up. Who's eating paint? Yeah, the, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck with you the rest. Kids' of your life. toys, dude. Kids' toys. How many kids' toys were recalled from like what the forties to what the eighties when the the lead thing happened? Yeah. 
all paint was had lead in it. So if your house is older, and usually when you repaint the house, you don't take off the old paint. You just paint over it. Yeah. So literally everyone, ha- everyone's house born or uh, built before a certain time has lead in it, lead paint. Yeah, that, asbestos. Oh yeah, and that's the same thing with roofs. I didn't know that. It was like when you get your roof repaired, they just add another roof what? on top of your roof. So, and when you hit max three roofs, that's when you really have to repair the whole thing. Mm. I didn't know that until uh, when we had uh, Sandy, right? Sandy <laughs> happened here. Yeah, and and my roof came off. Like my whole yeah. roof came off, and they were like, well, "You're you're on your second roof anyway, you know, second layer roof." You only, had, you, you only have so many roofs left, dude. My roof True. was in my neighbor's yard, and the, that morning, after there was a geyser of water in my house, the next morning, like the neighbor goes, uh, "When are you getting this out of my yard?" <laughs> I was, I was just like, it's a little bit of an eyesore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this isn't supposed to be here, and like it was just like you know, like one of those. Yeah, it's like there's a. We were in the middle floor, and there was water coming through the ceiling. That's not good. That's fucking crazy. Sandy did nothing to my house. It was just like a... <laughs> oh, yeah. Was, I lost it, power for 10 minutes. It was just minutes. like yeah. a... Yeah, like a I, I think it just hit my house. That's usually how it goes. Yeah, I remember there was a lot of kids in our high school that were like affected pretty horribly oh, yeah. by it. Um, and I remember some, some girl was just crying, uh, and uh, one of the teachers was like... Listen, I don't want to be a dick here, but <laughs> you do have to still wear your uniform. She's like, everything's ruined. <laughs> we have no clothes. The house flooded. Dude, it's scary dealing with floods because like, some of the people in Rockaway, like you, you know, they send videos when they get floods sometimes, and it's just coming through the toilets. Yeah, you know, it's just yeah. every pipe it'll come out of, and you can't, you literally just can't stop, and that must feel so scary or just so annoying, you know? Moral of the story, don't live by water. Yeah, don't live by water. That's not, never a good Yeah, never and, then a good if you, and then if you lived only by land, tornadoes. <laughs> it's yeah. like, there's no way to go. You Moral live, of the story, don't live. Yeah, want to live half and half? Fires. Now they, raised, uh, now they raised the houses, which I didn't even know you could do. They literally put it on stilts. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and yeah. just take, take the whole thing and boop. By my parents' house, all the houses look like they could just walk away. It's very weird. And they just all they, walk away. Yeah, because they're, they're literally just on four sticks. I'm like, this doesn't look structurally sound. You, it, you'd be surprised, like, what they can, like, just do with houses that you would not think. My, my dad's a carpenter, and he's, he says that he's been on jobs and or maybe knows people have been on jobs where they, like, pick up a house and move it over 20 yeah, li- feet. Yeah, literally. Like, how did they, you can do that? Yeah, they have, like, a huge crank, that they, like, a huge jack, like well, a house jack. they with a firehouse. Yeah, and they just... They you ever, it with you, a firehouse in the city. You ever see the, the, the video of the Amish people doing it? There's a video of of, of a bunch They're of Amish people different. that are that are just lifting a barn and <laughs> yeah. moving it somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know who could definitely lift a house? All those old Italian men that lift that statue in Brooklyn. Oh, dude, you know? they have dents what, that? in their shoulders. <laughs> there's oh. a, there's like a. I'm, I hate you brought this up because I can't remember the name. And I'm gonna look like Julio. Oh, there it is. The the Fagilio. The Fagilio. <laughs> hey, uh, they basically like eat sausage and peppers and talk about how Italian they are, and then they have this big fucking statue. That's pretty close. And they and they. And they all lift it up, and they go. Hey, oh, 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 oh. And like they've done, like there, a lot of them have done it so many years that there's just a dent in their shoulder, like how the gamers have a dent in yeah, their head. Yeah. Same exact thing. Love a good. Fe- I love a good festival like, street, kind of like street fair. Does, like, festival. does oh I can, uh, can I, how yeah. close how close to oh, where in, we live in, like, can I say? <laughs> either in like Brooklyn or in Queens or in Manhattan in a park. Ooh, yeah, all these food stands. Like food stands. Ooh. Ooh. There's something about it. You know, just like an outside. It's like oh, yeah. it has like a like a lot like you know day drinking vibes. You know, yeah. Dude, I come home with a goldfish at every fair. Yeah, it's and like then I the, kill it. And then yeah, and then mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it comes <laughs> home and fries. Michael been poisoning. So, oh, it's that time of the year. Antonio has his goldfish. Ding dong. There's a fair in town, right? Do they now. think he'll kill his goldfish? Yeah. They they just all of those things die except for what, what's his name? Five. Five. Yeah, yeah. What's, I had a gold. I had five? goldfish that just. Like whatever the max amount of life goldfish can live, triple it. He was like an immortal. <laughs> yeah, he was an immortal, and but not only that, he would also. This is my brother who got it. Like I, I don't know how long they, how long they, I think I looked it up. And they lived like two or three years. This thing lived like six, seven, eight. And but the thing was, like we were just ready for it to die. Yeah, like please <laughs> die. It would literally grandma. be on its side on the bottom of this tiny little bowl. He's in a bowl this big, <laughs> yeah. and it'd be on its side of the bottom. Yeah, I guess he finally croaked, and then we walk up to it and tap it, and he. Get up and start swimming around. I'm still alive, you bastard. <laughs> yes, I can't Don't get rid of me. You flush me yet. <laughs> I lived through the war. I brought from the Renaissance. You guys been to the Renaissance Fair? Dude, oh, I want to yes. go so bad. I've never been. I, I want to go. I love the Renaissance can we, Fair. And we yeah, actually we, we go. I want to go so go. bad. But I brought a dragon home from it, which is a little lizard. I'm not falling for this. And uh, no, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not dragging these nuts across your bottom. <laughs> I'm I'm about, I brought it home. Me. They were selling dragons. It was a lizard. And uh, I had it for like two days. 
and I wanted to watch it eat. So I was like putting crickets in there and I was putting more and more crickets in there. And like I wanted to see it happen. <laughs> and more crickets. And then, and then like, and I'm like, man, he's not eating it. So then the next day I go back and it's like just a, like a skeleton and crickets all over. And I think the crickets had like a little cricket revolution oh. and, and it killed him. You put so many crickets I was a in lo- there. Put a lot of crickets. <laughs> you in put there. so many crickets in there that you tipped the balance and the crickets ate the lizard. Yeah, so eat the rich. So you had a bunch of crickets as a pet, not a lizard. Then, yeah, yeah, right. eventually, yeah. That is so with funny. a little with a little skeleton decoration in the middle of my cricket <laughs> pen. <laughs> that is. <laughs> that it was is a so, legit like lizard skeleton. That is so crazy. sad, actually. Oh god. Did you dress up as anything when you went to the Renaissance Fair? I was really. I mean, I was. I was. I was you could tell I was an idiot. <laughs> I was like. I, I was like seven, maybe eight. JT just uh, wore I didn't a tank. Dress up as anything. JT wore a tank top. I, w- and really I went to one a few years ago, and I was I was dressed up as like an executioner. Only one there, which was shocking because it's like seems like a pretty. I could you fit that role? I yeah, it was it was very funny, and all these you know all these people they really get into it, and so they're like they like they look scared when yeah, I walk yeah. by and shit. <laughs> it's it's some hardcore role play. Yeah, there. it's so fun. I went on a, a pub crawl. They're like because they have little beer mead stands, so you know they have a guy. And we like went around to each stand and got a cup of mead, and then we were like singing old songs. It was it was so fun. What is mead? It's uh, like a honey fermented wine. Is, I was gonna say, is it closer thing. to beer or wine? So it's closer to wine. Yeah, it's sweet, it's good. Sweet, it's good. Sweet, I don't, good. I don't like it, but I know Danny likes it. I had about fifty thousand glasses of it. Yeah, it's just you, it's you, just it, fermented honey, but they do different stuff to make it taste different, like the way they do beer. And it, uh, but it's it's got a. I mean, have you ever had just honey? It sucks. It's not that good. Did I hate it's it? It's throw up. Did I hate it? It is bee throw up. No, honey's honey. I like honey. What about like, have you ever had a honeycomb? Ooh, tasty. Like you just eat a, That was just a Cheerios bee, commercial. Eat a bee's house? Yeah. They make new combs, you know? And how would you like it if... Someone came in here and ate your house. Exactly, which the ants are doing right now. That's also true. <laughs> that's, 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 that, and, we tr- and we try to get rid of them. The bees we, have been trying to get rid of us. The, the, they were, I, I saw an ant here yesterday that was... To terrifyingly big. It was the size of my foot. It, it was it was the biggest ant I've ever seen. It might it was like Ant Man. Then they're carpenter ants, so they eat or live in the wood, and they like destroy mm. your home. Yeah, so we're we're a ticking time bomb of uh, crumbling right now. Yeah, Picky Boys podcast is not going to be much longer. <laughs> this house collapses. <laughs> uh, we're good here too. I think I'm, I'm I'm I feel like we're good unless mm-hmm. yeah that, mm-hmm. I think we're good. that was rapid fire. Yeah, that was rapid fire, baby. Mm-hmm. Let's go kill some ants. Go. Hope yeah. there's no ants. Uh, ant. Um, I just hope enthusiasts. it doesn't collapse the structure. I. That's a fair hope. I feel like <laughs> we collectively have that hope, that exact hope. That would be probably the worst we found case some scenario. We have some common ground that we don't want the roof of our heads to crumble on ourselves. Could that could probably kill us? Yeah. yeah. I think it's, <laughs> got, it's got potential. Unless you're awake and you, you know, you hold it up by yourself and support it. Oh, I'd sleep right through it. There it is. <laughs> let's, we gotta, <laughs> let's get out of here. All right. JT, tell them where to find you. Come on. Find me on Instagram at JT Holden 97 Boom. You can find me at Danny is watching on Instagram and TikTok and uh, I, I don't have anything else. That's it. That's what it is. That's it. <laughs> you can find me at Aunt Prisco. Can't forget to follow. Picky Boys Podcast. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, what are you, you know, what is something. What are you doing? What are you doing, what are you doing right now? What are you doing what right you now? Do? What'd you, what you have you, to eat? What'd you last? have for lunch? Yeah. What'd you have for lunch? And uh, have a great day. Peace, guys.